still Snapchat, so it was a pretty fun weekend. Beers with my mate's yacht, uh, beers with some makers and entrepreneurs and freelance people. Uh, let's discuss this idea about uh, the future of music and if you were in a band, what you should do. So like me, I'm sure you have a bunch of friends who are in music bands, um, and I kind of like to look at like bands and the whole music se sector a little bit like startups, because there's so much noise, how do you differentiate yourself and actually become big? And like startups, 95% of them fail, and, and why is that? Like, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's just, if I was going to start a band, not that I have any musical talent, here's what I'd do. And it's a little strange, but let's just go along with it. I think to me, a band and like a music and a song basically breaks down to three things. So the lyrics, the chorus that's repeatable and kind of like catchy, uh, the tune, the riff, and then just the marketing of the band, like their character, their persona. So I'm sure people are doing this somewhere in the world, but I'd love to see um, basically like, you know those like neuro headsets, like the, the ones that read your brainwaves? So there's like the emotive headset and there's a whole bunch of other ones out now. So imagine if every, every song you made, you kind of did it as a bit of a focus group. So you invited a bunch of people in, you gave them all these headsets to monitor their brainwaves, and you just started like riffing and just playing different tunes and tracks and seeing which ones stuck the most. I mean, at the end of the day, the reason why humans, the reason why we love music is it kind of like, it, it triggers an emotional response. The auditory noise going to our ears triggers the electrical activity which releases endorphins into our brain. And yet the way amateur bands or most bands make music is they just kind of make something, they get together in a bunch of group with a bunch of friends, they make something they think is cool, then they put it out there, then they try and find the audience that likes that music. In the world of startups and entrepreneurship, that's kind of against the, the way you should be doing things. That's like, that's like putting out a product and then hoping people like it without actually talking to your customers beforehand and finding out what they want in real time. So I guess what I'm saying is kind of like imagine treating music creation as a science, as a, as an, a you know, it's a data science thing, it's a big data problem. Um, it kind of takes away a little bit of the heart and soul of it. But if you're also in the end game, it's to basically like uh, tell a story through music and like, you know, uh, it, it spread these emotions to people listening to your music, like the outcome's the same. I wouldn't be surprised if the big name labels are doing this already, particularly with some of the bigger pop stars. Um, I already know that in the film industry, they actually set people up with uh, EEG, like brain monitoring while watching movie trailers to test them. Okay, so here's a step-by-step -step practical of what you do. So try and find one of those headsets and uh, basically work out whether they're, like, the data you can get from them is really good and buy, say, three to five of them. And just treat every jam session as a, as a scientific experiment, as a focus group. So invite you know, three to five of your friends and randoms along, set them up to the headsets and just start playing random tunes you've been testing. I mean, that'd be really awesome if you could know exactly that, you know, this chorus uh, actually has, resonates more with people more than this chorus and this riff resonates more, more with people than this riff. Yes. Oh, okay, let's next level this idea. Okay, imagine playing live shows where you have a feedback with every single person in the audience. Everyone in the audience is either wearing some type of like, you know, imagine like a Fitbit device or some wearable or possibly even a headset and giving you all that data in real time. I mean, bands already treat a lot of live audiences and little like band shows and stuff like this. They'll, they'll play some new music at those shows and kind of just gauge the response of the audience, but in a very abstract, you know, qualitative way. So a sort of like this would probably work better with electronic music because um, you can, you know, create an actual feedback loop and change the, the music on the fly. But it, it could work with the same typical band setup, like the drummer, guitar. And this whole concept of a, a feedback loop between you and your listeners is something that's completely absent from the entire music industry. And yet, I feel like that's kind of the, the central core of what makes it work. So much if you ran live shows where you gave out like hundreds of these like wearable devices that monitored say their heartbeat or whatever and fed it back to you on stage in real time and you could do some crazy stuff with that data. And you're playing electronic music or Psytrance or something like that, um, it'll, it'll get to the point where you have machine learning algorithms that are writing that music and changing the beats based on the feedback loop from the biometrics of the entire crowd. Or even the most basic level, like your, your live show could just show an average heartbeat of the entire crowd. That, that's a good starting point and then you could add stuff on top of that and just like go crazy with it. Now imagine you do this a few times with your band and you get a lot of learnings from that and then you turn this into a wearable startup. Like you actually sell these products and you sell it to other bands as a way for them to do the same thing. Maybe these wearable devices come with inbuilt LEDs and so you can actually light up the audience and change them and create patterns throughout the, throughout the crowd. Or and pair it with a personal app as well to be able to see which music you like. I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool to go to a concert or like a gig or something and actually see, you know, go back even the next day and actually see which songs you like based on your heart rate. That'd be really cool. Now, if you develop some awesome technology out of this, you could probably sell this to Spotify. Um, imagine, like, every single song we listen to on Spotify should be paired to biometric data to understand what songs we like in real time. Something else you could be doing is uh, using big data um, and machine learning algorithms to mine uh, all the lyrics that have ever been written and everything everyone's saying on social media and use that to create your choruses. The only other tricky one to solve is uh, creating a persona, creating a... a uh, I mean, you look at all bands, they have, like, amazing uh, characters and they're, they're kind of like an act. Uh, I don't know how to solve that one. Also, the characters could be uh, virtual, like holographic, or in VR. Um, in Japan, there's a, a, an anime character called Hatsune Miku, who's actually a hologram and has millions and millions of followers and plays real concerts. Or perhaps you turn yourself, perhaps you turn yourself and your other band members into feedback loops. Like, you have wearable clothing that has LEDs on it that the audience can interact with and change. That could be cool. This Spotify uh, kind of wearable idea is, is really cool, because you could do things like, um, 
you could take the aggregate of all the songs that your friends listen to and their heart rates at different moments and recommend songs based on that. And even pair it to like GPS coordinates and locations. So you can maybe see that like, you know, when people listen to these songs on the beach, these are the ones they actually uh, resonate with most or given this certain environment they're in. So let's know your thoughts. Is anyone actually already doing this? Or what do you think? Or how can you make that better? Um, at Future or Snappers, send comments, whatever. Have a good day, folks.